All right. I got the Canon R50, no stabilization on, and I had the Sigma 10 to 18 f2.8. What do you think? Uh, this is wide field of view. So compared to the 20 millimeter that I did, and then also the 10 to 18 with the Sony with the Megadap ETZ21 Pro adapter. You can see it works pretty well on there with uh, great stabilization. So the stabilization is turned off here. It's at 2.8, so it's kind of bright, but I'm in the shade, okay? And there's a reason for this. I'm just walking around, and with no stabilization, I just wanted to show you that with this camera, I can uh, just enhance the stabilization a little bit better and then we can compare it with the uh, Sony, okay? So I'm gonna use the Sony ZV-E10 against this one. Apples to apples, APS-C, same lens, well, same company, but uh, different lens mount. Uh, I already showed that it worked on the um, Nikon and I could use the adapter on a crop sensor camera also, do the same process. But this is with the R50. There's no stabilization on. It's f2.8. I'm in the shade. I'm just scrolling. How do I look? Okay, and I'm going to be using a tripod, same way. So you see, just walking around. You can see how small I am in the frame. And this is at uh, 18 millimeters, okay? No stabilization on. Now I'm going to scroll all the way to... Yeah, I'm sorry, this is 18 to 50, okay? Uh, so it's not the 10 and 18. So what I wanted to compare was the 18 millimeter equivalent of the 18 to 50 on this one to let's say the 18 millimeters on the Sony. Okay, with uh, stabilization and when it's uh, enhanced. So this is without any stabilization. Let me turn on to the next, uh, next one. Okay, I'm a little bit bigger. 18 millimeters. I'm going to walk around. Look at the pretty flowers. Okay, so I'm walking around. How do I look? This is kind of tough. My right arm's hurting. So you can see how bright it is. But I'm a little bit bigger in the screen, okay? So how does the stabilization look? Do a little panning. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on enhanced. And I should probably be just a little bit bigger. So I'm just walking around. So I'm trying to show you the stabilization. Canon is pretty good, okay? Uh, Panasonic is excellent. Nikon's uh, pretty good also. It also depends if the lens is stabilized. Uh, this lens I don't think is stabilized, okay? So I'm just walking around. Now I'm using the right hand. So here's the three uh, stabilizations. 
Huh, what is that? Flower came off. Oh, from that. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of leaves drop. Fall's coming. Okay. So you've seen it. No more of that. What do you think? What do you think of that? Look at that stink bug. It's a big old bug. Okay, a little nature. All right, enough of that. <laughs> so uh, this is the end of the uh, Canon. Now I'm going to go and do the uh, Sony. Okay. Second time. So, there's no stabilization on this. This is the Sony ZV-E10. I have the 10 to 18 Sigma F2.8 at F2.8. I'm gonna walk around. I'm just showing you what a wide field of view for vlogging looks like. So I redid the Canon 18 to 1, or 18 to 50 F2.8. Same thing. So the only problem with Sony is they have two stabilizations, okay, with this Sigma. It's the normal stabilization and it's an inactive, okay? That's it. You have to have a Sony lens to have the dynamic active, okay? So the, there is no stabilization now. I'm just walking around. So you can see me, look at the background, see how shaky it is. I am using it on the wrong arm because my right arm is hurting. If I do some scrolling and stuff. See, I do not fill up the screen. Okay. So I did three previous videos. There they are, me a little bit three previous videos with no sound. I forgot I turned it off for some reason. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to turn on the first stabilization and uh, you'll see me crop a little bit. Okay. So I see them a little bit bigger. Let's see if the stabilization's better. Or better. So I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you some of the wonderful sights. Show you a little lot of focusing. Showing my beautiful yellow flowers. Finally blooming. So with this lens, you go from 18 millimeters to 10. Okay? And with the active stabilization on, you can see how small I am. So the one that I did with the Z6 III has beautiful stabilization. It went into crop mode, and I was trying to show you the difference between uh, 11 millimeter and 10 millimeter and 18. Okay. Uh, all this was because uh, someone complained to Peter Gregg that he didn't have a, a wide full frame zoom or lens. So I sent him one, it was a 20 millimeter, and it's bigger than this. So this is 10. 
This is now 11 millimeters, so I'm a little bit bigger. And we ended up, what this video is about is 18 millimeters compared to the Canon uh, APS-C system. This is the Sony system. So they both have digital stabilization. And this is what we're testing on, is the 18 millimeters, one against the other. Now, on the uh, Nikon, the 20 millimeters, I would be bigger. And it's a full frame lens, this is a crop. Uh, I will say that there's a 1.6 crop on the 18. Uh, so that might be like a, a 28, maybe a 29, or maybe even a 30. But still, uh, the full frame um, 20 millimeter was bigger than the uh, crop from the RF. Okay, folks, I just want to interject right here. Okay, I got a little sidetracked, a little confused. So, the other video was 10 and 11 millimeters. Okay, I was trying to show I had the Sigma and then I also had the Sony on the Nikon. Um, Z63 with the Viltrox 20 millimeter. I was trying to compare with the crop. So at uh, 10 at one and a half is 15. And then of course 11 is about 18. And the thing is when you have an hand stabilization, there's an added crop. So it was approaching the 20 millimeter and with the full frame Viltrox 20 millimeter on the Nikon Z63, there was no crop. I just had it on the normal stabilization. It looked just about the same. So this way you don't have to have an adapter. Um, you can use the Viltrox. There's your full frame wide zoom lens. So I had a, uh, Old timers uh, moment at this part of the video, and uh, now that we'll continue. Uh, 50. So let me just do a twirl. I don't see any wobbliness. It looks clear. So uh, what do you think? Um, you can have an AP. APS-C camera, Sony, Canon, Nikon. Uh, you just have to get the right lens to work with it. And go for it. So with the Nikon, I have the uh, 12 to 28. Great for vlogging. Great for uh, going inside. Uh, you know, to show off. Uh, you know, uh, inside buildings, hotels, rooms, offices. Just to show you uh, for uh, marketing. And you see my cat's crying. He says, I'm hungry, but it's not time yet. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye, folks. What is it, your problem? See, he gets mad, and then he, he starts crying. And then one says, what's wrong? And, then he starts picking on Wanda because he's hungry. Poor Wanda. She just loves everybody. She is a little chubby, you see? <laughs> yeah, they want to be fed. Okay, folks. Let me end it right here.